Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss Surgeon 1 video. And today, we are back in X-Plane, finally. Now, today, we're gonna talk about the B-2. Just some random facts, this is the most expensive plane that exists. Actually, a unit of this costs $737. I mean, million dollars, obviously. You, you don't want to forget a million there because, um, uh, yeah. Obviously, that price is justified by its huge amount of features. I mean, this thing is such a big topic that I could most probably make a 45-minute video about this. This thing is really advanced and really special, to say the least. Obviously, this is a military aircraft, and um, it looks kind of not too modern, does it? And that is because it came out in 1989, 30 years ago. I mean, that's not too bad. You know, the 757s are kind of older than that. This is quite an old airplane, but it's still in use. And the Air Force still uses them, and they are actually being modernized, as far as I know. Now, obviously, the first thing about this aircraft that comes to mind is uh, that it doesn't have a, a tail wings or something. Because this plane is actually a flying wing aircraft, which basically means that there is no fuselage or no tail. But you can tell here, this is literally a flying wing. You are sitting inside of a wing. And this design gives this B-2 the opportunity to be a very stealthy plane. Because this thing is supposed to be a stealth plane. The thing is, the airplane is even, like, coated with some special material that is harder for radars to see. Also, this aircraft is extremely efficient, actually. This thing handles better in high altitudes, which is very good for, you know, observing stuff from the skies. Doing some secret stalking, you know that one. Uh, I mean, this thing can do so much, but let's just take off first. Very nice. Now, the problem is this add-on aircraft in X-Plane does not have a 3D cockpit, which really sucks. There we go. This is our uh, cockpit for today. Not too good. But, I mean, as long as it flies... Uh, actually, yeah. something that not many people know is that this thing actually has four engines, not two. Yeah, it does show here as well. All right, let's just take off soon, I guess. 150 knots. I think it's time. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the aircraft, right? Oh my goodness. Oh god, I think we have broken off the flaps. That's not too good. Now, obviously, you might wonder, well, how do you control stuff like rudder? Yeah, this is rudder control. This is how you control rudder. I mean, it works. These are the ailerons moving, and these are the ele- and it. I mean, this is a very impressive plane, to say the least. Now, this thing only needs two crew members on board. Oh, goodness. Now, this plane also has a lot of, you know, modern stuff in it, like fly-by-wire. Now, obviously, this plane can also drop bombs, even nuclear weapons as well. But, uh, I cannot find the option to actually load this plane with any type of weapons. Normally, the option to do that is here, but it does not want to show up. So, I guess the, uh... Oh, I guess the add-on aircraft just doesn't ha have it, and it's, it's dead as well. So, maybe let's try taking this plane off at some other aircraft. So maybe we can talk about speed a bit as well. This thing actually only packs around 1,000 kilometers per hour, which is a bit more than supersonic, I guess? But it's somewhere around that corner. It's not the fastest plane, obviously, but this is also quite a thick plane. This is not a small plane. Let's go to St. Bartholomew, because why the hell not? Now, this thing can also have mid-air refueling, which is very nice, I, I guess. So here we have this plane compared to other planes, like the Cessna 172. So this thing has quite a large wingspan, but you know what? Th let's just take this guy off. All right, let's take off, shall we? We have actually taken off the B-2 bomber out of St. Bartholomew. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I see an F-4 Phantom on my radar. He's probably going to shoot us down, isn't he? Oh no. Oh, oh, there's something coming. Yeah, please do not shoot us down. Oh my goodness. Have we just been shot down or something? Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh goodness. Yeah, maybe not. You know, in my opinion, every plane should be able to land on an aircraft carrier. Or at least every plane in military. Yeah, maybe this is not a good idea. But I do gotta say that this thing has, uh, quite good handling. This thing responds quite quickly to inputs. Oh, goodness. Now, let's hope for this plane to not, you know, fall apart again. Now, this thing is actually perfectly able to perform a loop, which is very good. This plane actually has a very, very high cruise altitude at around 50,000 feet. Now, obviously, that allows this plane to be even stealthier. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this aircraft, but it's kind of dying. I don't know why. So, uh, 
So yeah guys, thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you tomorrow as always. Good night.